Hello students, it's Miss Spouts here. Although today it is scientist Miss Spouts because I'm coming at you with an amazing science experiment that you can do. And it also has something to do with the three little pigs. And I know what you're thinking. <clears throat> Miss Spouts, what does science have to do with the three little pigs? Well, I am going to tell you students about today's challenge. Here's the challenge. Many of you are familiar with the Three Little Pigs story. One built a house out of straw, out of sticks, out of bricks. And the wolf comes and tries to blow them down. He can blow down the house of straw. He can blow down the house of sticks, but he cannot blow down the house of bricks. So your job today in this experiment is to try to build a house that cannot be blown down. Mm -hmm. And Here's the challenge. You can only build the house out of materials that you find around your own house. Now, I know what you're thinking. Miss Fouts, I could just use Lego. That's easy. Or I could just use blocks. That's easy. Well, I'm here to challenge you today. Don't use the basic house building materials. Can you build your house out of something that we normally don't build houses out of? Like cardboard boxes or Perhaps books that you find in your own home library. Maybe go outside to your yard and grab some sticks. Can you build a house out of sticks that won't fall down? So I went looking around my house and I thought, hmm, what do I have a lot of? What could I build a house out of? And students, I came up with PS4 games. I know, I know what you're thinking. Miss Fouts, I didn't know you were such a gamer. Well, I am. I'm an expert gamer, and so I'm going to be using my PS4 boxes that the game's coming to try to build a house that cannot be blown down by the wind. But first, I have to fill out on my computer the materials that I'm using. So, on our handy dandy little spreadsheet here, I'm going to write down under materials that I am using the PS4 game boxes. All right, I'm all done. Now, to make it extra challenging, I'm not going to use any tape. I'm not going to use any glue or any string. I'm going to see if I can just build a house out of these boxes, nothing else. So I'm going to write that down in my plan. I'm going to stack the boxes strategically so that they are strong and no amount of wind or force could blow them down. All right, now it's time for experiment number one. So, I'm going to take a few of these boxes. Let's see. I think my plan, I'm going to have a sturdy structure, sturdy base at the bottom. And then I'm going to take another two. And I think I'm just going to kind of stack them on top to make kind of a tent sort of thing. So, it's all about balance. There we go. Perfectly balanced. So, now that my house is built for my lovely imaginary pig, the big bad wolf has to come. So there are lots of ways that you can recreate the big bad wolf. First, you can try with just blowing with your own mouth. Or grab your family and say, hey, family, can you come and join me and try to blow this house down? You can all be blowing wind at the same time. If you ask really nicely, your mom might even let you borrow her hair dryer. Or maybe your dad has one or your older sister or brother. And maybe you can use a hair dryer to blow your house down. But first, I'm going to just try it with my own breath, just like the wolf, and see if I can blow this house down. Ready? I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow their house down! <sighs> Alright, so, my house, uh, it blew down. So, uh, try number one, I'm going to record my results. It said, did your house stay standing? Uh, no. No, my house did not stay standing. And I gotta write down my observations. What did I observe? Um, my house immediately fell over when I blew on it with just my own breath. All right, so now I'm gonna have to alter my plan a little bit because I'm not satisfied. I, I know I can do better. I know I can build a house out of these PS4 game boxes that will not blow down. So I'm gonna revise my plan. Um, this time, I think I'm going to try to open up the boxes 
because if I have a stronger base of support, then my house will be more sturdy. All right, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, that seems pretty stable. Let's try the wind test. Okay. Ooh, the top moved a little bit, but it didn't blow down. So, now it's time for wind test number two. So, I tried blowing on it with my own mouth, but you know what? I'm gonna try to amp it up a little bit. I've got a little handheld fan here. I'm gonna see if I can blow it down using the wind of the fan. Oh, the top is moving a little bit, but... Ooh, it did not blow down. So I can fix the top. So I gotta add that to my observations and record my results. Try number two, did my house stay standing? Yes, it did. My observations, well, let's see. The top floor moved a little bit when I blew on it, and it moved a little bit more when I used my smaller handheld fan, but overall, the structure remained standing. Now, I could just leave it like that, but you know me. I like to push the limits. I like to push the boundaries. I like to see how strong really is this house. So, I got something bigger than this little handheld fan. Oh yes, friends. I got this big giant fan. So now I'm gonna try to use this to see, can my house withstand the raging gales of my giant fan? Let's find out. And I am going to turn her up to full wind blast to see how much wind can my house withstand. Let's find out, I'm gonna turn her on. Ready, set, go! Ah, the house, oh, the top flew off. Is the bottom flew off, falling off? No, the bottom remains strong. Oh, no, it all fell down. Well, there you have it, students. My house could withstand my breath, and it could withstand the tiny fan, but it could not withstand the giant fan. So I gotta add this to my results and type that in. So try number three, did your house stay standing? Uh, no, no it did not. And I gotta type in my observations. What did I observe? Um, at first it stayed strong. Um, it withstood the smaller fan, but when the big fan came out, the roof blew over and then the rest of the house blew over shortly after that. All right, students, I cannot wait to see how your experiments went and whether or not you are able to build a house that will withstand the wind and the wolf's powerful might. Bye, students. We'll see you in our next video.